Hi, I'm David Trace from the Autopian. I'm Bo Bachman from the Autopian and Galpin Motors. What did you bring? I, I've never, this car looks pretty crazy. It is, it's the new Lotus Electra. So this is a, a pre-production unit that we get to drive. Now, the thing we gotta be, you know, point out is, okay, this is not only a first SUV for Lotus, but it's an electric SUV for Lotus. Yeah. So first of all, design aesthetics. I love it. In this color? It's crazy. A proper Lotus color, this by the like way. This is like a, um, it's even got metallic in the yellow. It's like, yeah, it's beautiful. I think this is a kind of a cool little detail. Uh, Pioneer since 1948, uh, two years after Galpin was founded, by the way. I like to point out when we're older than car makers. Uh, you can see the arrow holes going all the way through. My oh, where does that go? Fit. Oh, yeah. oh, it goes right there. Look, yep. can we do a handshake through here? We can. Look at that, we just made a deal. It worked. I'll take it, 50 bucks? <laughs> Uh, I like these uh, this little winglets that are back here. Again, I don't know how the arrow works on it, but uh, it's cool looking. Got the headlights below, nice arrow, uh, active arrow system up front, uh, beautiful use of carbon fiber that's properly book matched. Overall, I think the design is spectacular. What a hard task this is for Lotus. Imagine being a company where your whole brand is built on being small and light and great at handling, and you know you have to build an SUV. You know it, and it has to be electric because it's 2024. So what do you do? Do you just say, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep building lightweight gas cars? No, you go crazy. That's what Lotus did. And I'm excited to see if it worked out. Do you have the key? Yeah, this thing's kind of kind of cool looking too. Check that out. Whoa, you that's the, the key? Yeah. Wow, it feels like hefty. It, it it's feels, like a jewel. It feels like a key. Yeah, the screen's all flat. Oh, wow. Ooh, now it welcomes Presents us itself. coming in. The steer That's oh, nice. wow. The other crazy thing that I think is really cool are these little tiny screens. You know, so you've got everything right in front of oh, you. Oh, wow. That's a, um, and I've got, a little screen. I don't know, i got the radio station at least. So it shows me that. Steering wheel's beautiful. I mean, just, just ornate. Like, this is all pretty out there, this car. From the outside, for all the holes and the vents and all that, to the inside, which is, you know... Look at these sort of double dash set up with a little thin vent in the front and that, that nice lighting that runs all the way through it. I mean, it's beautiful. Man, color makes a difference, doesn't it? It does. I mean, exotic cars should come with exotic colors. Yeah. All okay. right, let's roll out. Ooh, look at this nice proper large mirror. I can look at myself. Nice. Lights. Cameras are good. Yeah. It's pretty nimble. Steering radius seems mm -hmm. pretty tight. Ooh, I like when you push the button, it has that nice, like, way it opens. Man, this interior feels premium. Ooh. It's not even just the looks, it's the feeling. Like, uh, that turn signal, little knurling on there. Mm. I mean, dang, these are so sweet. Hey, can you go faster? <laughs> I can go way faster. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's you know, fast. That was 70 miles an hour like that. <laughs> that was our camera crew telling me to go faster, and it required very little effort in this yes. car. So what do the paddle shifters do? I mean, there's no transmission, so what's, I don't get it. So on the left side, you change how much you, how much regen. So when you let yeah. off the accelerator, if you're on full regen, it'll slow you down. If you're on minimum regen, it will, it won't. It'll actually just feel like you're rolling. Yeah. So what's the other cool. one do? The other one's in drive modes, and that one's cool, because ah, okay, cool. when you hit them, you can see on the screen, yeah. each drive mode is kind of, there's a little graphic to go along with it. It's very cool. I mean, that's the thing about like, there are lots of cars that are electric, and there are lots of cars that are fast, but it, the key is making a car feel special, and you can do that in a lot of ways. You can, you know, base someone in nice interior comfort. You can give them weird, you know, fun graphics like that. You know, you can have an electric glove box that you hit a button for. Like, all of these things come together to make a car feel special, which is now more important than ever, now that there's no sound. Now that, you know, torque delivery is the same on all cars, all cars are kind of on the heavier end. It's I like, like torque delivery and this thing's pretty nice. For sure, yeah. And by the way, just on that point, you're in eco mode, not sport mode. Ooh. Yes. We don't want to make that mistake again. <laughs> it was a Lotus the last time we made that mistake. It was. That's why I didn't want to make it again. All right, it's time to blow some doors off. We got Whoa! <laughs> oh, Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Whoa. <laughs> that was wow, man. Jeez. 
I actually, my, my tongue shot to the back of my throat. Jeez. <laughs> that was awesome. It's ridiculous. As electric cars become more pre prevalent, like the average soccer dad is going to be doing crazy stuff. Like what this. about the soccer moms? I didn't well, I, I was very strategic in saying soccer, soccer dad. Oh, you're trying to be non-sexist? That's right. Talking about men? The average person is what I'm saying. He's going to have like crazy power at their, at, at their fingertips with electric cars. Okay, you want to switch driving? Ah! Yep, right here. Okay. I have to say, now I know why you're so enamored with the steering wheel. It looks and feels fantastic. Yeah, and it's got like these cool functions on it. it it's... Yeah. Brakes take some getting used to. They can be sticky at first. But they should be grippy on a sports car. And I, that's what I think of this. This is like a... It's a sports car. It's an SUV sports car. Is that a, is that a thing? It is now. It is. Okay, I'm gonna go. You guys ready to go? We're gonna go. Here we go. Shimmy cricket. <laughs> there goes your phone. Everything's just flying everywhere. Ooh, I do including, like this. Including boys. my lunch here in a few minutes. <laughs> well, my goal you taught me is to make you sick, right? It's true. Jiminy crow. Oh jeez. <laughs> what? Oh. See, a car that makes you laugh uh. uncontrollably. That's that's a good thing. It is. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> it's working. Look, no traffic. Let's hit it. Jiminy Cricket. Okay, now, now we get to feel the freeway. That is smooth. All you hear is road noise and some wind noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the, the wing came up. Oh, did it? Got the arrow going. See, oh. I went fast enough. That's cool. You know, if I were to tell Lotus, or, or advise them. If they said, Dave, we're going to build our first SUV. We have to. We need the money. It has to be electric. That's where the world's headed. What should we do? Obviously, I'd say, well, try to make it as light as possible. But I realize that there are going to be limitations just because of where battery technology is. Then I'd say, OK, dial in the suspension as best as you can and make sure it is wacky. Get yes. crazy colors, make it look different, make it feel different. Make sure the interior is different. Everything's, it's got to stand out. Your first SUV can't just be some bland mobile. There are too many EV SUVs. And they got the memo on that front. They, they really did. If you want an EV and you want to have something that's exotic and drive an SUV, I think this thing's rad. I mean, yeah, yeah. of course I would because I'm selling them, but I know that's honest. It's true. Another good drive. Thank you, Dave. Oh, good times. Awesome. So we're giving the, the Lotus Electra the thumbs up, I think. Oh. With, with the okay. Oh, I'm a fan. Now you're talking about daily driving. I mean, that's what this is meant for. But then we want to have fun. You know, the, the fun. You know the truth is, Bo, I don't think I've pressed the pedal on this thing more than about 70%. Well. It's it, just, it's going so fast. Like, why would I press it harder? Let's try it all the way, though. And we get, you know, we don't have a lot of, it's, again, it's stupid LA traffic. It's possible that the earth below us will just spin and we'll stay in place. <laughs> so we stay still and the universe moves around us. Oh, the, the earth, yes. Yes. I think that was from Futurama. Oh. That was the technology in the spaceship. Oh. Was that it stays still and it moves the universe around. Oh, okay. Yet another pop culture reference I don't get. Have but... you ever heard of Futurama? I have, yeah. Okay, good. It's like a cartoon show. It's like a cartoon show. It's like the modern Jetsons, right? I mean, I guess you, you know what the Jetsons are? Oh, we're seeing the whole... Wow, his, I'm his, impressed. His little wow. space car folded into a freaking briefcase. Okay, okay, all right, you better know that, right? That's good. <laughs>